Hello, fine people. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you guys had a lovely holiday season. Uh, the highlight of mine, I suppose, at least art-wise, was being able to attend and participate in a art show. Uh, the first one I've ever been a part of. It was kind of small. It was at an elementary school here in Austin. Um, and yeah, I was with this group called Art Profiler. And uh, seven of us collaborated on this table and uh, put our stuff up. We were the fine arts table and um, lots of originals and some merchandise. I actually didn't sell any anything except for some merchandise. But this, this kid wanted my backpack. It was awesome. Best feels. But yeah, it was a good time. It was a good experience. I met some cool people and had a time. Um, <clears throat> I guess this show kind of inspired me to get going again on larger pieces. Um, I haven't really played with canvas in a while. Granted, this isn't canvas. This is gesso board. Um, it's kind of chalky, I hesitate to say, but it's, it's a nice rough surface. Um, great for playing with inks and stuff, so that's exactly what I did. Um, this is Dr. P.H. Martin's ink. Um, it's, it's really a lot of fun to play with. You just wet the board liberally and start putting ink on it and just seeing what patterns come out of it. Really just playing around at this point, because I knew I wanted to create something, but I didn't know what, so I just let myself make a mess one evening, and um, yeah. It's really fun to watch this speed it up, sped up, because um, you can see all the patterns and stuff that it makes and how it settles. I started having a little trouble here figuring out what to draw, uh, which is not uncommon. Sometimes, some evenings, some days, I'll sit down, have an idea of something I want to draw, and I don't know, my hand just isn't working or something. Um, and it just takes like a good hour of lightly drawing something in pencil and erasing it, and sometimes just giving up and going and like going outside or something and, and uh, you know, getting a change of scenery or something. Um, so I, I, off, off camera, I finally got a bird down. Um, he kind of looks like he has the measles or something. Not sure what's up with this guy, but, uh, yeah, I just, uh, finally got him down and <clears throat> started inking him here and just thinking about colors and stuff, what colors to draw, or what colors to put on them.
I have a thing, I guess, I have a thing for uh, the color green. Used a combination of these, uh, what are these pens called? Well, these are Prisma colors. These fat markers are Prisma color markers. And the other ones, the thinner ones that I'm using, are Steedler Tripless Fine Liners. Um, I just recently got into these pens because they're, uh, the tips are really thin and they do great detail work. Uh, and they come in a bazillion different colors and they're pretty affordable. So I decided to make a couple more of these uh, Yupo ink conglomerations um, with the intention of cutting shapes out of them. And uh, I wasn't too sure what I was doing at this point. I think I had the idea for some mountains, some green hills. Uh, so that's what these are. And uh, while those dried, I cut out this guy. Um, I've got these little like kindergarten scissors that are great for my tiny little hands. I've had this pair of scissors for like 10 years. Who even knows where they came from? Um, maybe the store. But uh, speaking of the store, I went there. I went to a store recently and I got one of these little uh, blades, little cutting tools, and they're great for details. Look at that. Look how satisfyingly sharp and precise that cut is. Uh, it was like two dollars for this thing, and I don't know where it's been my whole life, but I finally have one, and it's gonna make life so wonderful. Uh, this bird can feel all of the wind in his wings. So then, since I had the idea for mountains, I figured there would be mountains in the background and mountains in the foreground and generally mountains in the background in paintings I've seen are, they take on a darker color. So I got some, some blue and some purple here, made another big mess, um, and then went to town on making little mountain shapes out of them and pasting them together pasting them down on the board and uh, lining them up, trying to waste as little as possible paper uh, that I'd arted on and um, here, here, here it is. This bird is flying over, feeling good about himself. Uh, going somewhere fabulous. Feeling fabulous. Um, mm-hmm. There was one point where, where I started drawing and like trying to accentuate the hills and stuff and it just seemed like something else needed to be here. So of course I drew some some polka dot mountains, because those are real things. Those are definitely nature-like and realistic. Uh, so I, I threw those in there and um, added some flair. <sighs> yeah, this was fun. I did most of this last night. Uh, took a couple hours and... Um, just relaxing, listening to some podcasts, and uh, yeah, that's that's about all I got. I hope everybody had a uh, wonderful holiday and happy new year. Welcome to a new decade. Um, I hope it treats everybody well. Make art and share it and enjoy yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye now.